Uh, Governor Newsom also posting on social media today, praising President Biden, saying in part he will go down in history as one of the most impactful and selfless presidents. Thank you, Joe Biden. And just within uh, an hour of that, the governor also officially endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris, saying in part on social media, no one is better to guide our country in a healthier direction than America's Vice President Kamala Harris. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, is live at the state capitol tonight, getting answers on the impacts to Newsom's political future with this move. Tori. That's right. People have really been speculating it now for months, whether Governor Gavin Newsom wanted to make that presidential run. Of course, making it clear, though, today on X that he does back Kamala Harris, but that doesn't mean it's out of the question in future years. The door was slammed shut on, on uh, Newsom. There simply is no room for him uh, with Harris in the driver's seat going into the convention. Powerful words from a fellow California Democratic politician, Congressman John Garamendi. Uh, there'll be some day in the future where there'll be an opportunity, but it's certainly not going to be this year. For months, Californians have questioned, will Governor Gavin Newsom run for president in 2024? But the Golden State's leader took to X Sunday after President Joe Biden bowed out of the race and endorsed his vice president, Kamala Harris, shooting down the speculation. Newsom saying in part, quote, with our democracy at stake and our future on the line, no one is better to prosecute the case against Donald Trump's dark vision and guide our country in a healthier direction than America's vice president, Kamala Harris. Getting him on board today is clearly significant. CBS 13's political analyst Gary Dietrich expecting Newsom to be a key supporter in raising funds for Kamala Harris's presidential campaign. But that doesn't mean a definite closed door for the Democratic governor in future election years. Gavin Newsom's plans, I'm certain, have not changed one iota. He's got his eyes on 2028. Uncertainty surrounding who Americans will be choosing between for president come November. Donald Trump has said that uh... Uh, he doesn't think that uh, Kamala Harris is any stronger candidate than Biden. But one thing is certain, neither party is backing down. We're going to be in unison, we're going to be strong, and we're going to be prepared to win this November election. So political analysts I spoke with today say we probably won't have that definitive candidate until the Democratic National Convention, which right now is less than a month away. And it's also important to note if Kamala Harris is selected as that candidate, Governor Gavin Newsom would not be able to be her running mate. And that's because the two are both from here in California. That's an important point. All right. Thanks for that. Tori Abadaka live tonight at the California State Capitol.